Um, obviously a tough, 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 tough loss game of runs and ebbs and flows. Um, it's good to be out there playing basketball again. Um, you know, putting things in perspective, but very disappointing loss. You know, even without Josh Aduro, they they were without guys as well. Uh, you know, they played. They, they they made the plays down the end. They stayed true to, to who they are. They're a team that gambles and and, and goes for steals. They were fortunate to uh, get some of those, and I think it was lack of sureness on our end. Um, some shot selection things late in the game, and then it just comes down to just playing defense. You know, we shot 59% in the second half. That's enough to win. But when you see 20 points off our turnovers um, and, and and obviously them shooting 53 in the second half, our defense was the issue. And, and it, it, it's nothing, to, no one to blame except for, um, you know, the man in the mirror. Uh, it starts with me and our, and our readiness. And, you know, we have to get back to the drawing board and get back to work uh, this week preparing for Dayton on Saturday in Fairfax. Questions for Deshaun? Deshaun, how did you see those last six minutes or so kind of unfold? And was it as simple as you were able to apply some pressure and some time as well? It's just in that late stretch of the game, like, we got to sit down and have some pride and really just guard to a man. That's what it's all about, especially in those moments where it's one to two point games. Um, it can go either way at any time. So you just got to sit down and guard the ball. Really. Did you feel like there was any sort of rust today? It, was a slow, it seemed like a little bit of a slow start. Matters. I mean, I don't think so. Um, it might have been the first couple couple minutes of the game we started a little bit slow, but yeah, um, I think we found our tempo and our pace as the game went on. So. At the beginning of the game, it seems like you were getting a lot of stuff inside the lane. Was it because maybe they were playing you to play from the three-point line because you were cutting and you were having a lot of success below that three-point line? Yeah, just just trying to be aggressive and um, get paint touches. Because I know we have so many shooters on our team. If I can get a paint touch, um, they're going to collapse on me and then I can make plays out or make plays at the rim for myself. Anything else for Sean? Kim, was there any chance that you were going to be able to have Josh today? Or you know, it was, it was up to, to him. You know, he, you know, the, the, the whatever, 10 day isolation period of inactivity, and then to get right out. I think he tried to run some on campus on his own, and then we got on the court. We tried to slowly get him back, but his knee uh, flared up some, and it just wasn't great. You know, I told him. Again, I'm. It's. I'm never gonna ask a kid to play injured. You know, if they don't feel uh, good about it. But we definitely missed them out there. But as they missed their players, you know, it wasn't. No, you know, we didn't. We weren't the only team missing a player out there. Going down the stretch, it looked like you wanted uh, Xavier to clear out on that play uh, late in the game. I guess a clear out for him to go. One on one was that what you were looking for? He had the ball at the top. Yeah, I think we ran a set. They they disrupted it. We didn't get what we wanted. That's fine. We found the matchup we wanted. It was uh, uh, him versus Harris, and Harris played great defense. You know, that's, that's sometimes that's the name of the game. You know, getting a stop or making a shot, and um, they made good shots, and we didn't get the stop, and, and vice versa. You know, if they did get stops and and we didn't down the stretch. And you talk about not getting stops down the stretch, what proved to be the game winning basket. Um, was that defensively, was that what, what you were no, looking we, for? No, we knew they did exactly what we knew they would do. They, they did it early in the game when they were, um, it was low clock. They got the ball to, I think it was Warner, maybe. They got the ball to Warner or Dean, one of the two, and they faked the handoff and drove and we in the huddle we said this is coming they're going to fake the handoff don't know who it was going to be um you know so we said don't fight for the fake stay with your man and uh you know we we, we, we didn't get that done and it was a good play to, to run against the team that was switching and it worked out last inbounds pass was that miscommunication or just a little bit of frustration being flustered by 
uh, I don't think it was much pressure. I think it was miscommunication. Sometimes mm -hmm. I think you're cutting one way. You, I think you're cutting another. And um, obviously, unfortunate turnover. Um, like to get something better than that out of a timeout. Um, get, get what we want. Can you talk a little bit about um, your front court play today? Because as you mentioned, you guys were missing Josh, and DW was missing um, Lindo and Brown. So it was kind of um, maybe not the the guys you'd expect to see. But what do you think of your um, front court play? You know, I I think Malik's coming. You know, you know, obviously, you know, he had some really good moments to start the second half. Uh, I thought that Blake Jones had some moments. You know, you won't see it on the stat sheet, but he was uh, he was plus eight for the game, which is the second highest on our team. Um, you know, we don't overreact to absences. You know, we feel like our culture, you know, our standard withstands anything, any blow, any anything the season will will throw at us. Uh, so those guys did their jobs for the most part. Uh, not at the end. Uh, you know, when we took out Blake at the end and put Malik in is when they made their, their, their final run. Um, probably should have stuck with, with Blake Jones, but we're still learning. We're still learning each, each guy, rotation of lineups and who can do what. When you talk about that learning process and what have you, when you have a, a gap like you did, uh, 16 days, how much does that disrupt that, set that back? You know, you know. Obviously, it's just it's just not not something you prepare for. But it's it's equal throughout the country. I don't know if they've had one, but other teams surely have, and a lot of teams do. You know, St. Joe's had one, and they came out and played great at at, at Richmond. You know, Georgetown had one, they didn't play great against uh, Marquette. It, it, it goes, it's it's you're just focusing on and trying to control what you can control, and trying to be ready when it's time to take the court as best you can. But it's it's no excuse because no one cares. No one cares. Like, you know, George Mason lost to George Washington, and that, 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 that's all that matters. No one cares how many days we are off, how many at the end of the game. You know, it's, it's a zero-sum game we're playing. You either win or you lose. We don't want any credit for losing that Kansas. We're not going to, you know, we're not, we, we don't feel any different, we, you know, than we did after losing that Kansas than we do today. We, we, we didn't get the job done. I know this, I've asked you this earlier in the season, so I apologize, but... Uh, in the first half, you get to the free throw line 14 times. In the second half, it dips down to five. And it's not like you were so perimeter oriented that you would expect that. Is it just, is it not getting downhill fast enough? What What's the explanation? We were 24 for, for 30 at the rim tonight. Yeah. We were 24 for 30 at the rim. We had 50 points in the paint. We, uh, you know, we, we shot, we shot 19 free throws. Uh, I don't really have much to say about our offense. Maybe we took, we're two for 11 from mid-range. That's less than ideal. But we're 24 for 30 at the rim. Uh, Xavier Johnson had a layup at the end. I thought Deshaun got fouled in his driving play at the end. We, I'm 81% of our shots were at the rim or, or, or shots from three. We're, we're fine with that number. Yeah. Um, we saw a bit of run with some of the smaller lineups for early go through big in there. How do you feel you guys did? Yeah, it's, it's it's what we do. You know, we, we feel like with most of our with, with with honestly with twelve of our thirteen scholarship players, they can play anywhere, pretty positionless. And um, yeah, you know, we executed our stuff. Um, did a good job. I have to watch it on tape to really see and and, and look at the numbers to see the efficiency um, of those groups, the offensive rating, the defensive rating of, of each lineup, but. Um, Disappointed in our ability to take care of the ball. 20 points off turnovers is far too many on the road. And 53% um, they shot in the second half, 49% for the game. Our goal is 39.9, and uh, we didn't get that. Anything else for Kim? Yeah, thanks, Kim.